right, so one more time, let me review this. Based on this invoice card, okay, your customer hand you, hand you, uh, give you a uh, invoice, printed invoice. That's what they want. I want the invoice look like this. So you analyze this invoice, and you say, oh, okay, I need an address. I need a line item and product, and I also uh, um, need, uh, you know, a uh, so you need you recognize bunch of variables right later then you decide I need invoice I need the address line item and products that's a you know the class you decide you want to to des to design then after that you come in to here one by one and you do from the easy one first okay so from the address so address you recognize address just need to form me so you read the address one more time so same small appliance 100 main street any town california 987665 then you break the components you <clears throat> you know you need a name street city state and zip so that become your private variables because those are the properties. Now we're going to do, do next right now. So next we are going to do is this. Next we are going to do is our public. Your first public, all right? So your first public is always your constructor, okay? Your constructor. Your constructor is exactly the same name as your class. So then you can copy, control C, then you don't make a mistake because you guys make a lot of typo. All right, so I'm going to pull like this way right now and stream, and I'm going to pay a name. So that's what you get from user. It's okay. A stream. So that's my constructor, okay? That's my constructor. And also, based on my uh, CRC car, based on my CRC car, I know the address need to format it like exactly like this way because it won't happen exactly like that way unless you, unless you format it. Is that right? So then, so you're going to say this right now. And you say, I'm going to format it and return a string, all right, and format it. All right, so need to make sure I have this right here, and make sure, okay, let me, uh, uh, let me make it beautiful right here. All right, so now that's your, uh, your header file right now, then I am going to uh, come here to do my CPP file. Okay, so let's start it with our constructor right now. All right, let's go to our constructor. So constructor is very easy, right? So you're going to assign this uh, name. That's your class variable. Come from a name and your uh, street. And come from your a street. All right. Then your uh, CT come from your A CT, and your uh, stay come from your A stay. Then your zip come from your A zip. 
All right. So this is your constructor. Your construct your constructor's job is just get whatever user gave to you, whatever user gave to you, then you assign them to your uh, class variable. Okay? You assign them to a class variable. So far, okay? Now, let's continue right now. So, we have format, right? Before we format, we need to take a look how do we format this? How do we format this? All right. So I need to put a name. After I put a name, I need to go to next line. Next line. In C++, how do you go to how do you say go to next line? You don't say enter. What do you say? Can anybody tell me in C++ how do you I I close my uh chat so you say it. How who knows in C++ what's a com command to go to next line? All right, end line, that's one way to do it. End line, that's one way to do it. Say it right now because I need to close my chain. Okay, that's another way to do it is what? Backslash n. Is that right? Okay, that's a backslash n. All right, so that's coming back right here one more time. One more time. So I will print my name. Is that right? Let's analyze this. I'll print my name. Okay, then I will backslash n. So it will allow me go to next line. Then I'll print I'll print my string. Is that right? Then I'll do backslash n. So it will allow me to go to next line. Then I'll print I'll print the city. After city, I need a comma. So I put a comma here. Then I need my state. After my state here, I need a space. So I put a space. Then I plus my zip code. Then I go to next line. All right. So this is what our plan. Ah, uh, then we do it right now. So we say string. Ah, uh, string. Let's put the location. Is that okay? And location will be equal to exactly what I say. Name and plus we need backslash n. It give you to next line. All right. Then plus that I need string. All right, then I I also need uh to go to next line. After I go to next line, I need a city. Okay, after city, uh, I also uh let me see. After I city, I go to uh uh let me see. Do I go to next line? City. Uh, after city, I don't go to next line. After city, I I need a what? I need a space, ct. I need a a comma. Is that right? A comma. Then after a comma right here, and I need a, a state. After state here, I need a what? I need a space. Then after that, I need the zip. Then after that, I need a backslash n. Okay, I'm done, and I'm going to return location. Is that okay? All right. So one more time. Let's check this correct. Okay, let's check this correct. Okay. So I need a name and backslash n. I need a street backslash n. CT after CT is a is a comma, and to stay and is a space then zip. So far okay right now. Are you okay? All right. So I am going to uh I am going to close it right now. Okay, save it, save it, save all. 